uh, Ritesh, you know this very well, and I understand that, you know, uh, 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 as the president of the Canada India Foundation, you must be a person who is building bridges. But, you know, if you think about it from the Indian perspective, it is, these are open calls for violence. These are almost like Supari posters. These are posters saying, isko yeah. maar dalo, isko dhundo, or isko maar dalo. You know, those are the kinds of things yeah. that are being called freedom of speech by the Trudeau government. There's no midway in this. No, I mean, uh, I think you're right uh, saying this, and we feel the same as a community. I mean, uh, like uh, nobody should, uh, you know, on pretext of freedom of expression or freedom of speech, do such things. And again, mm. my only question is that, you know, if these threats are being given and if these threats are real, like if these are real, for example, mm. that is the reason only federal government provided RCMP cover or security to Indian diplomats. If yeah. these threats are not real, they would have not provided security. And my another question is, if these threats are real and you've provided security, what have you done to actually counter these people or yes. counter these people who are issuing these threats? These are real questions which, you know, uh, we as Canadians need to introspect. We as uh, you know, we all need to introspect these questions. We just cannot say that these threats are not real. If these are not real, like why would you provide security cover to Indian diplomats? Okay. I have two more questions, Ritesh, and I appreciate your candor in these questions. Uh, you know, there are so many millions of uh, 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 Indian families who have relatives in Canada, uh, people who, uh, you know, are studying their children, etc. And like you said, there's a great deal of anxiety that is built up. What advice would you give? The Indian government, you know, has, has said, please register at the embassy, register at the High Commission. And, you know, and when a government says, please ASAP register, that instantly triggers panic. So I want a realistic kind of assessment. What would you advise students there? I'm not trying to ask you to go out on a limb. I know it's a fluid situation. But what would you say to families and students there? You know, as you rightly said, it's a fluid situation and it's fast changing every day. You know, every morning you get up and you see new advisories or new press conference or new announcements, you know, yeah. Canada pulling out diplomats and all that stuff. But I would just say, you know, historically and, you know, uh, principally Canada and India are good allies. I mean, yes. like these are temporary hiccups. And uh, I would say uh, sanity will prevail in the end and both sides will sit down and talk to each other and resolve all the issues. But, you know, the crux of the matter is that any civilized society, any progressive country like Canada needs to weigh in and uh, introspect and see what is good for their society, our society. I mean, we are more concerned about what is future of our children here. I mean, we don't yeah. want to be living amid, amidst people, you know, who, who threaten people, who bully people, who openly issue threats against, you know, peace-loving people. That's not the uh, society we all want to, you know, uh, raise our children in. Yes. So I think uh, at this moment, you know, I think people on both sides should be calm and, you know, they should not overreact. I mean, we got a lot of calls, you know, people after, you know, this guy from SFJ should mm. uh, open threat to Hindus. We got a mm. lot of calls and a lot of community members, community leaders, community organizations, temples, they are all in panic. But yes. we only advise them not to overreact. I mean, yeah. these are fringe elements. Nobody cares for them. You know, they don't have any say besides, you know, a small section which has that ideology. But I think the important thing